Hi, welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about um, the midline of a trapezoid, um, or the median of a trapezoid, which is the segment um, EF here connecting the midpoints of BA and CD, the two legs of this trapezoid. And this situation would not change if it were um, an isosceles trapezoid, only that I would put two tick marks on all four parts of the two legs. But in this case, I cannot assume that CF is equal to BE or EA for that matter, whereas BE and EA must be true if EF is, uh, must be equal if EF is to be a median. So there, those two are equal, and then subsequently these two are equal, but the four parts don't necessarily have to be equal is what I was just saying. And um, EF is then the median of a trapezoid. Um, or the midline or the mid-segment. Those are the three names. And um, <clears throat> this median EF happens to be in length um, the average of um, BC and AD. So if the length of BC is A and the length of EF is, is C and then the length of AD is B, then we would find that a plus B over 2 is equal to C and this is true and if you want to know why uh, it's it's pretty straightforward but and, and pretty cool actually um, it's because we'd use the mid segment of a triangle um, and basically turn the trapezoid into two triangles and what we would find and I, I'm not sure that you understood which two triangles I was talking about, but these are the two triangles, right? This triangle here. And then the second triangle is the one, like, on top of it, this triangle. Right? And so, if you look at those two triangles, then I claim this. First of all, C is the length of EF. It's not the point of intersection of EF and BD. Let's call that point of intersection right here. Let's call that P. Man, I could not have misplaced C um, any better to make it confusing, but <clears throat> let's move that away. So C is like over here, the length of EF. Okay, got it. P is a point. Now, look, so what the claim is that um, EP is a median Oh, sorry, it, uh, rather a mid-segment. So EP is not a median. A median of a triangle is entirely different from a mid-segment of a triangle. But EP is a mid-segment of triangle ABD, right? So that's pretty easy to see. And the property of a mid-segment in its length is that EP, the measure of uh, segment EP is equal to half of the measure of uh, side AD of uh, the triangle um, ABD again. So that is this is half of this. That's true always for a mid-segment of a triangle. It's half of the um, base that it's parallel to. Now for the same reason then, uh, the, measure of, um, the measure of PF, right? And this, this guy PF is now a mid-segment of triangle uh, B, D, C, so this triangle right here, right? So it's a mid-segment, it's just kind of upside down. Now, P, F, right, the measure of it, has to be one half of the side that it's parallel to. Well, that's obviously the measure of side B, C of the triangle um, D, B, C, or B, D, C, or however you want to name it. Triangles are normally named um, clockwise. Um, okay, so... So you could do that. But the point is now, this is pretty easy, right? So so we've got that that um, that the measure of EF um, is equal to clearly the measure of uh, EP plus the measure of PF, but those are equal to one half the measure of AD and one half the measure of uh, BC respectively. So, right, this is this, 
then this here is that there with the half included right um, okay so uh, I guess the only thing I missed is this indicating that they're all segments okay got it well then this is pretty clear then this says one half the measure of AD factoring out a half plus measure of BC now we had given the measure of um, AD and the measure of BC names before uh, which were uh, the measure of BC was A the measure of AD was uh, B so this is saying one half B plus A uh, and then on the left side of course is the measure of EF and the measure of EF we had called C therefore consistent with our claim C equals half of A plus B. This is pretty cool, no? Okay, all right, I hope you enjoyed this, but really, like, the only thing you need to know is, like, you know, like, basically now how to apply this, which is, like, you know, if you're given a trapezoid, let's say it's this trapezoid, you know, it could be a whole host of questions um, that you could be asked, one of which could be, like, oh, like, like, this is X plus eight, this is X plus six, or rather X plus four, this should work out pretty well. And then let's say that this is x plus six, and you knew that the black segment I drew was a mid segment or a midline or a median of your trapezoid. Then obviously the equation that you should get from here is x plus four plus x plus eight all over two is equal to x plus six. And that should lead, if we have to solve it, to two x plus 12 is equal to 2x plus 12 so this will hold true for any x that's why I said it should it should work out kind of in a funny way so like this would say 2x equals 2x which means that this is actually the way that I have constructed it is independent of x right um, this will hold true okay for any x for instance x equals 0 x equals 1 why should it work for x equals 1 also um, yeah it works that's this is simply because x plus 4 and then x plus 8 always have an average of x plus 6. Let's take their average. It's 2x plus 12 over 2, which is x plus 6. That's neat. But yeah, I guess, yeah, okay, sorry. Not confusing, but it works, right? So this is true for all x, because, but, you know, bad, kind of bad example, but it, it works also. Um, okay, great. And um, yeah, um, okay. And, but the only thing you need to take away or remember is, is basically that, that the mid-segment of a trapezoid is the average of the two bases. This, the average of the smaller base and the large base is always uh, the, the, the length of the mid-segment. And by the average of the base, I mean the average of the length of the bases. Okay, alright. Uh, I hope you took a lot out of this. Take care.